Good afternoon, 3.15 here Sunday. It's been a weird day, it was sunny this morning and then it rained for three minutes and now it's kind of half and half. Anyways, car washing time. Mentioned how I wanted to do this yesterday, it didn't happen. One, my windshield's filthy, but so is everything else. Five minutes with the hose and look at the amount of oil, brake junk that came off. Mostly a that wheel, I don't know why specifically that wheel, but Let's see if that did anything for this. Huh, no, not really. Need a sponge for that, but uh, we've, we've got one. So that's good. Guess I'm gonna grab the sponge now and the Zeno, uh, the, the Z4, whatever, car wash soap, and, and, and yeah, okay. Welcome to Ohio. It is raining and the sun is out, and there's no rainbow because that would be too nice. Uh, I don't know what time it is, it's after 419. I'm in the garage here. Um, it's just started to dry the car in the driveway and a few drops came down. I thought, hell no. So I moved the car in here, uh, working on the inside of these doors. I've got to clean under the hood yet. There's terrible music playing now. Then I'm going to move on to the wheels and then all the other stuff. It is now 7.40 and I'm done with the exterior. I don't really know how long that took me. Probably like four hours. We did a full wash. Uh, spray over, spray with the grand finale stuff from Zeno. Went over the plastic I took off. All of these uh, little things on the side. There's one on each corner and I clean those with Zeno plastic cleaner and I'm, I'm not real impressed. I don't think it did anything. But on the side of the doors here, I put it on there and it feels a little smoother and looks a little better. So I guess it's good for that. Also detailed the exhaust again, this time with that auto saw cleaner. So now they look really nice. And uh, I'm content with the exterior. Maybe tonight or tomorrow I'll grab a vacuum and and it's nothing big just after a couple weeks of not cleaning it you know you get grass and whatever in there so maybe I'll do that but I'm tired and need to lay down <laughs> all right I fooled you it is now 10 58 p.m. and uh, we're here at my desktop which is rarely that something really something that makes it into the vlog but I wanted to show you I know if anybody watched Colt's video yesterday last night I was on the phone with him or I was on Skype with him for a while and I worked on this house. Now I haven't shown the, the vlog this house probably since June. Um, this was my engineering drawing project. It was one story, it had no roof, it had nothing. It was very basic, it took a week to make. Since then, just when I had free time, I started playing around with it. I put a roof on it, built the second story. I've got a yard now, a driveway, and I thought I'd take a couple minutes and show you what I've been doing with it since I don't really have much else filmed today for the vlog. I got the car done, that's all nice, and it rained, and that's it. So. Uh, this is my first attempt at anything in SketchUp, so obviously it isn't uh, up to code, as some people might say, but here it is. Um, you've seen it a while ago, uh, but the biggest thing is what I did today and yesterday. If we go to the top view, there is my patio, which is freaking awesome. But if we come down here, i got a driveway in. We'll wait for the textures to load. Uh, as well as a uh, pretty nice sidewalk. Check out these steps right here. That's all, that's all spec. That's six inches high whole length there. We've got some good textures for the driveway. Nice slate. Um, let me turn off my guides so we don't see those lines. Uh, the driveway is actually really huge. It comes all the way down here. There's my Ferrari in the driveway. Nice curve there. Uh, I have not cut out the landscaping part yet. It flares out into the street. Um, yeah, there is my step up to the porch. This house actually has two doors. That's like a door from the mudroom out to the porch. And then this is the front door here where my mouse is. But if I come over here, you can see in my garage, I've still got a very nice collection of cars. Uh, you can name them in the comments if you feel that you know what they are exactly. And now we'll move on to the patio, which is what Colt and I did last night in about, oh, I don't know, three hours until like 2 in the morning or 2.30 or something crazy. We've got a nice pool right here. There's a hot tub. We've got a nice grill area set up over here as well as a table. Nice uh, patio. It actually looks a lot like my patio. Those bricks were just came with the application as a as a uh, texture and it looked pretty good making the pool look like it has water in it was something that took a long time and as you can see it's slanted down to about eight feet deep and it starts at four feet those steps are actually the right rise and run height they're seven inch runs and ten inch rises uh, which is I think spec for something like that and then I did some grading Colt hasn't actually seen this yet but I graded the backyard down and you can see there's a pretty definite line there at the back of the house where it starts to grade uh, and then I built the patio level off the house there um, raised the flagstone up around the pool 
looks pretty nice. My biggest problem over here, though, was with the hot tub. I can't figure out how to make steps in there right. So I've got it full of water, full of water right now, um, but I, un, I am unable to incorporate steps or a ladder or something of that nature. But my lot is pretty huge. It's a 250 square lot, so I don't know how many square acres that is. It's probably about, uh, what is a square acre? That could be an acre or two or four. I do not know, but that's what I have so far. And you remember the, the inside of this place is done, and it's a huge pain to actually get into the house and navigate once you've already got a roof on it. But if I do come in, and there's textures, they just haven't loaded yet. And if we want to go into the family room, now we're in a wall. Crap. There's my family room. Let's see what I can do about this. Got some stuff on the wall. Got a nice couch. Wait for textures. There we go. We'll zoom in. I think one of these is a walk around option, which works. Fireplace. And a big TV on the fireplace. And the actual <laughs> the problem is with this house is, is this fireplace is not a fireplace. If I go up on top of the house, that's not where the chimney comes out. That's over there. So if I do do that, I would have to put a square chimney over there. And what I've got over here is the chimney, which you can see in the garage. Um, it's not open in the garage. But on the other side of that is the kitchen, visible through these windows here, kind of. See if we can go inside. OK. It would be right here where the uh, oven is and the sink, which looks very shady for a kitchen. And you can see it's difficult to navigate around in there. But anyways, that's what I did yesterday, and I'm, I'm not done yet. I don't really know what else I want to do. Uh, the pool was it was just really difficult to make all of that fit right. And I was going to do like a resort-style pool, but it was a lot easier to have some angles in it <clears throat> to be able to work with it that way. So I've got my dining area. I don't know what else I'm going to put here, but... That is the fun you can have with Google SketchUp, a free application from Google. All right, Ryan, back to you with the vlog. 2.50 in the morning. Good morning. I just talked to Colt for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours on Skype. I'm going to go outside so I don't get yelled at tomorrow morning for making noise. Um, worked on the house some more. Did some stuff back with the patio. Got a fire pit, a fountain, porch lights in the front. It's coming along real well. Oh, got to bring the Bose thing in. Anyways, did a great job on the car today. Full detail, wash, wax with the Zeno stuff. Exhaust is looking really nice. Wheels, tires, everything. So now it's not supposed to rain. Nothing on the 10 day. We got San Diego weather, low mid 70s and sun every day. So that is great news. And I did a terrible job of pulling this in the garage because I did it when it started to rain. Got way too much room over here. But my rotors, which you can't see, are covered in rust because I didn't uh, drive the car after I washed it. So tomorrow it's going to have to go out. I got to get out of here anyways. I spent the whole day in the garage, in the driveway, and in my office getting stuff done. Good news is we got about 12 videos off the WLP, which means we're down to four tonight, which I can easily handle. So I'm going to go do that and get to bed around four probably, try to get up around 11. Get to the pool tomorrow if it's nice. If not, do something else outside because it's supposed to be, well, the only thing that would keep us from going to the pool is the temperature. It's only like 74. Uh, that's all I have to say today. Hope you enjoyed the SketchUp thing. I know that was most of the video. Let me know what you thought. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Monday, the beginning of a new week. Hope you had a good weekend. Good night.